Now, again, different motherboards take different uh, pin counts of RAM. For example, if you picked out DDR2 RAM, you have to know that DDR2 has three different pin counts. So, even though you might have got the right type, you still need to make sure that it got the right pin count. So again, style of RAM, such as DDR, DDR2, DDR3, pin count, such as how many pins are on it. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the speed of RAM. Now again, all these specs I'm talking about, the only way to know what specs your computer is going to take is to check the specs on your motherboard. Once you buy your motherboard, then it's going to come with a whole list of specs, and look at that, and that one's going to tell you. Alright, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is your speed of RAM. Now, once you're looking at RAM, you're going to come across a number that you might not know what it is, and it's kind of a number that's kind of just floating there and not really telling anything a whole lot. For example, when you buy RAM, it's going to say something like DDR2800, DDR2000, and you're like, what the heck is this? I don't know what this number means. What this number is, is the speed of your RAM. And the higher the number, the faster. And before you go and find the, uh, just a random thing, I need to tell you guys one very important thing. When you're looking at your motherboard in the specs of RAM, it's going to have a memory standard. And what this is the lowest amount speed that it can come with. For example, if your memory standard is DDR2800, then that's the lowest speed, the 800, that you can get. Now, another thing that you should know is memory or RAM is backwards compatible. Therefore, you can always get a speed higher than the standard. So if your standard on your motherboard, motherboard is DDR2 800, you can always go DDR2 1000, DDR2 1200, but you can never go any lower like DDR to uh, 600 or 400. So you can always go higher speed than your standard, but never lower. It's very important, because if you put lower RAM in, your computer is not going to work at all. So now they say, all right, the more RAM I put in my computer, the more applications I'm going to be able to run. So I'm going to go out and buy uh, $12,000 worth of RAM and put it in my computer. Well, take it easy, Bessie, because you don't want to do that just yet. There is a maximum amount of RAM that you can put on every motherboard. And the way you find out the maximum amount of RAM, of course, just like everything else, you need to look at the specs. Now, one thing you have to realize is that even if your motherboard can take a massive amount of RAM, you don't necessarily want to put all this RAM in your motherboard because maybe your operating system can't recognize that. To be safe, I would put in the maximum for any computer I ever built was 4 gigs of RAM and this is plenty enough if you're putting any more than 4 gigs of RAM then you're just getting greedy and uh, you don't you just don't need to do it so just back off now for this build I want to talk to you guys about what kind of RAM I picked out we went with Kingston which is just the brand name we went with 1 gigabyte total which you actually see is made up of 2, 5, 12 uh, megabyte sticks. We went with 240 pin, which is again just to make sure it fits in the motherboard. The type we went with is DDR2, and we went with the 800 speed. So uh, this should be uh, plenty enough to support our applications that we're going to be running on our computer. And again, make sure you're watching these tutorials in high def. I hope you enjoy watching these tutorials. I hope you learned something. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.